Hi, this is Miriam Kelly Rye. I'm here in my little kitchen in my little apartment going to show you today how to make homemade mayonnaise. Why do you want homemade mayonnaise? Well, if you've ever had gaggy vegetables or dried out poached fish, you might want to use this at your next spring, summer, anytime you want to have a nice chilled item on your menu. Mayonnaise is so easy to make, it's so fresh, it has such better flavor, and you can make it yourself. So let me introduce you to the ingredients and let me try to set this up as a video that you can use to make your own mayonnaise. I clearly need to invest in a better tripod, but let me give this a shot. So what you need to make mayonnaise is good quality oil, I use olive oil. Where is it? <laughs> I use a good quality olive oil, some fresh egg yolks only, a little bit of Dijon mustard, a sprinkle of salt, some fresh cracked pepper. For this recipe, you may want to use white pepper instead so you don't see the little black flakes in your mayonnaise, but this will be just as fine, just as long as you use fresh cracked giving much better aroma and flavor. And the vinegar we will actually put in at the very end of our mayonnaise, which will give it a good tang. But remember to add it at the end, otherwise your egg mixture might break and not be a nice smooth consistency. So here we go. Let me try to set up my camera and try to show you how this is done. I think I'm lined up here. And we'll start the show with some fresh egg yolks that I cracked this morning. And really all you need is one. I have four here because I used it for a cake I made earlier. One egg yolk. Again, a small sprinkle of salt. A small sprinkle of fresh cracked black pepper a little bit of Dijon mustard, also for flavor. Now, this is pretty much all you need to do, except for the mixing in of the oil. You're going to create an emulsion. So you're going to take these ingredients and make them become friends and work all into one. So a very slow, constant, turn of a spoon, a spatula, my wire whisk, and a very steady, very, very thin stream of oil as you go. Take your time. This cannot be rushed. You will see as you add the oil, it hasn't been fully mixed in and it creates a break. It's not one smooth, cohesive, paste or cream or sauce. Once it's all mixed in, you can begin to slowly add more of your oil. Again, you can use olive oil, you can use vegetable oil. Olive oil has a much richer flavor, but if you're looking for a flavor that's a little bit on the lighter side, you may want to use that. Again, you can see how the curds are breaking and then you slowly have to mix them in into one cohesive, flavorful sauce. Don't overdo it. Take your time. How I like to use this, I learned this recipe from my mother who only knew how to cook European style cooking, so I was kind of lucky. I had escargot at the age of eight, cherries jubilee for dinner, for dessert, and always steak for dinner. A little bit of a food snob here. But this is one of the things that she left me with is how to make homemade mayonnaise. And we always had it in the summer with some cold poached asparagus. Or as a lot of folks here like to do is put something, some sort of a mayonnaise over their cold poached fish. This is great on any cold dish that requires some sort of a lubricant or a sauce. Now, you see here how the curds are separating. We just wanna keep stirring 
very consistent, very slow. Don't add too much oil until you get this all well mixed in. And you just keep going until you have the volume of mayonnaise that you need. Now what I'm gonna do is I could continue this and make more mayonnaise, which I will do because I need more than this for what I'm doing for dinner tonight. But once it's all evenly mixed, just another moment and you can see it's all coming together. Okay, just add a few drops of either lemon juice or what I've always been raised to use is a little bit of vinegar. And I always have a little wine with my vinegar. A few drops. Again, this will curdle the mixture a little bit. So again, slowly mix it in. Perfect. Taste. Mmm. Rich, creamy, tangy. I can taste the olive oil. So you may want to use a vegetable oil instead of the olive oil, but I'm looking for a little extra flavor today with, with the dish that I'm presenting for dinner tonight. And let me show you what I've done here for dinner. I've already prepared a nice little asparagus dish right over here. Let me unwrap it for you. This was very simple to make. It's also very elegant to serve at any party or if you don't have to have guests, why not have a little elegant meal for yourself? I have fresh asparagus that I slowly poached in a tiny bit of salt water for about 10 minutes until they softened, rolled them in a very mild flavored Swiss cheese. I used a lacy Swiss here and then took some thin slices of prosciutto and wrapped it all into little jackets. This is what I will serve with a little bit of my mayonnaise swirled over the top. I hope you can see that here. And that will make an elegant, light, refreshing, creamy dinner. I hope you'd enjoyed my recipe today. I have many more recipes. They are all my favorites. They are the recipes that I get requests for every time I bring them to a party. So please enjoy them on my website titled tallblondescookbook.blogspot.com. I hope to see you again with another quick video and thank you for watching. Happy cooking!